Okay, here's something we come across from time to time where we've framed up an image and we've just got a little bit tight to the side. Can we see just a little bit tight to that side? You might say absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's fine, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to say that's a bit too tight to the side. Now, not a lot we can do here in Lightroom, but again, Photoshop comes to our rescue. So if we photo, edit in Photoshop Elements. Give it a second to load up. And there we go. There's our image. So if we now get the crop tool, which thankfully was open from the last time I was in here, and we normally think of the crop tool as doing this. But have you ever tried to do this? You can actually crop outwards. Now, you'll see that it's dropped in a black background. That's just for it to do its own business. We don't have to worry about that. But up here across the top, can you see we have this thing called Content Aware? And it's ticked at the moment. So if I tick that, it's going to tell me to recrop this image and fill in the blank piece with some information that it's going to work out. Uh, okay, so you may say it's voodoo. It's obviously just an extrapolation of what happens with the um, the healing, not the spot healing brush, but the actual healing brush tool where you sample from other areas, but it does it for you. So if we now click the tick mark and let it think about it, just give it a few seconds and prepare to go. Wow. How's that? I think that's pretty spectacular. Um, I will do another couple of examples of content aware fill for you later, but I think if that doesn't whet your appetite for what it can do, think about things like um, skylines. If your sky is just a little bit close to the top of whatever your foreground subject is, perhaps you can add a little bit of extra. Obviously, if you get greedy, you'll start seeing repeating patterns and things like that. But for now, I think that's pretty spectacular. There'll be more coming soon on Content Aware Phil. Enjoy. All right, so here's um, an example where we're going to extend the sky up just a little bit too. I, I like the panoramic feel of this, but let's just use it as a demonstration. So what we've got is we've got uh, a trail through the sky, which is probably a jet engine trail. And it's, it's not too complicated, but um, let's see if we can just make that sort of half an inch or so bigger. Alrighty, so let's take you straight into Photoshop. Give it a second to pass it over. Okay, so here's our picture in Photoshop, and we're still in the crop tool, thankfully. So again, we're just going to add something to the top of this. Okay, again, don't get greedy, but just let's let's see what it does with that. Okay, and as I say, sometimes it may not do it right, but let's just see. We also have something coming out of the top here. So let's see how it handles that. This I think it'll do a good job of, but maybe let's see what happens here. Just thinking about it. Boom, 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 boom. And let's have a look. Well, holy cow, look at that. So this piece that was coming out here has filled in more. It's added a little bit of cloud there. And it's extended this puffy piece of... Uh, trail over here which if you hadn't seen me do that would you have known that that wasn't what was in the picture in the first place so it's something we'll do more of i will show you examples of where it can be used um just to fill in sort of patches of sky and stuff if you're shooting um foliage uh i'll show you how we can use it on the crop tool but that'll have to wait for another video Alrighty, enjoy and yeah it's just there are lots of places with content aware in photoshop this is just showing you an example of two.